So Coldwell Banker did a phone survey of over 1,000 Americans to find out more about the differences between men and women. And today we're talking to real people to get their take on home buying, his and hers style. If you were looking for a dream home, what would it just have to have? A hot tub. I have to have a big kitchen. Probably a pool and uh, a jacuzzi. Good location, close to a, a big city. What's a deal breaker if you're looking for a place? I don't like a lot of carpets on the floor. Small living rooms. I like a big, big living rooms. I don't, I don't like, you know, not having windows in my house. Not having enough hot water in my house. I don't like it being cold either. A crib and what comes along with it. <laughs> One of the findings of this recent survey I found very interesting was the difference between men and women in the home buying process. Women were three times more likely to make a decision quicker to purchase a home than were men. Who would you say is more decisive between the two of you? <clears throat> Me. Me. Uh, I am, definitely. No, I didn't say nothing. Oh, the woman. Absolutely. They know what they want. They know, no, this color doesn't go with that. The guys really don't care. One of the fun findings from the survey was who wears the pants in the family in a real estate transaction. And interestingly enough, over 70% of the respondents said it was a mutual decision. Who do you think really wears the pants when it comes to big couple decisions like buying a home? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, <laughs> That'd probably be him. I think it, women do have a big role in deciding because they have more stuff. Me again. <laughs> probably most people, the women, but not with me. With him, yes. It really depends. I think I'm more of the one who is financially kind of the tight one. It's a discussion. We discuss it. There's something else in the survey that I found very interesting, and that was the difference between men and women in where they like to be located, close to work or close to the extended family. What's more important? Uh, to where I work. Close to where I worked. Being close to where I work. Uh, you you want to be close to your family. I like being near my family. Both men and women said if they had an extra room, they would turn it into a bedroom first. Secondly, they said they'd turn it into an office. And then it was pretty funny because the men said they would also turn it into a recreation or hobby room. I'd call that a man cave. What would your dream room be? <laughs> it would probably just be a home office. A dance studio. Me, I hunt and fish, I bow hunt, muzzle load, pistol, and all of that. I lean to trophy room. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all. Probably just like a lounge, a meditation room. You probably just have kind of a hangout room, I think. Good sized TV, maybe a nice couch, games in there. Our whole house would be the main cave. Thanks for watching. And for more information and to view the full survey of men versus women in the home buying process, visit coldwellbanker.com.